just a little suggestion. Two things. One, use the leftover water that's not quite been used, that you boiled your water with to make your morning coffee. Use that extra little bit of super hot water, put it on a cloth, let it be all steamy and wash your face in the morning. Always so beautiful. And two, put maple syrup in your coffee. So much better. Not a bad place to wake up, huh? Remember meeting jolly old Saint Nick yesterday? Um, that little bump right there, that's the park where I met Santa Claus. Not a bad little spot to call home. All right, I got a couple more hours of work to do this morning then we're gonna hit the road. Oh, and we're in St. John, New Brunswick. All right, buddy, let's go. Was a great place to spend the night, was a great place to work this morning, but bye-bye, little beach. I will see you again soon. I wasn't expecting this. Couple minutes down the road from where I slept, road comes to a dead end. I should have Googled it a little better, but I just kind of zoomed into Google. I'm like, oh, this road looks like it follows the coastline. I was hoping it would follow it like all the way, <laughs> but it stopped here. And I'm okay with turning around and making the trek back because this spot is way worth it. Besides the little lighthouse, the Bay of Fundy looks amazing from here. And you could see just the just in the way in the background there is Nova Scotia. But like we talked about in a video the other day about how big the tides are here in the Bay of Fundy. And from here, I think you guys will get a better perspective on how much this ocean rises twice a day. You see the black on the rocks down there? Yeah, the top of that black is how high the ocean rises. It says it's about a 30 foot rise. So that's like this entire ocean rises 30 feet or whatever the stat is. You guys will have to Google it to get the exact one. But here you kind of get to see, cause we're way up here guys, like way up on the top of the hill. And that is probably a lot bigger when you look at it from down there. Crazy. I'm guessing, I don't know if this is a fact, but I'm guessing that little thing you see poking up over there, I think that's Nova Scotia. I'm not really sure, but according to Google Maps, that's the only thing on the opposite side of me right now is Nova Scotia. It, I thought it was closer than that. It looks so far away. Flies on my van. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be a mad dash to get inside without letting all these things in. Look at them all. Come on, guys, get away from my door. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> I made it in, Cruz. Ah. With no flies. That's pretty impressive, actually. I don't see any flies in here. 
That was crazy. We were under attack. Uh, sometimes, you know, you get tired of pavement. I know I do. I really enjoy these. These like gravel or dirt side roads. I don't know, there's something pretty freeing about driving down them. And every time I go somewhere, I always have a tendency of going, oh, look, <laughs> it's a dirt road, let's go. This one's pretty bumpy. If it continues to be this bumpy, I'll be turning around, but. <sighs> yep, that's pavement. I'm glad I never turned around. And apparently this is where everybody comes to do burnouts. <laughs> Look at all the lines from all the cars doing burnouts. Now, if I had a bit of a lift on this thing to make it over that hump right there, looks like a pretty nice little spot down there by the water. Oh, epic van life spots that if I only had a bit more clearance, I'd probably make it. Knock, knock. Who's home? What the heck? What's up? <laughs> How are you? What are you guys doing? <laughs> Not much. <laughs> Again, Chrome, we'll probably see you in about 30 more minutes down yeah. at the garden. Are they gonna come to that spot? Yeah. yeah. Sweet. Yeah. All right. Stop I know you guys haven't seen their van tour yet, so that one's coming. <laughs> this is where you can follow them. Right there. One at van, V-A-N tour at a time. <laughs> it's so cool to see you guys. Pulling in here was just funny. I was like, whoa! I know. <laughs> I just caught that. Like literally, this gave, gave it away instantly. Otherwise, I would have just been like, whatever. Yeah, yeah I heard you honking from way down the road. Another. I'm like, wow, how do you see us from down there? <laughs> the second set of honks, I was like, what is going on? And they come to the door and here he is. You guys gonna take your ball back? No. Is that for Chris? That's for Chris. Oh, yeah. you guys are sweet. He's got his own ball. Are you really gonna give that ball up to my dog? Hey, Cruz, they gave you the ball. That's all yours now, buddy. Hey, you spoiled rotten, bro. <laughs> that's, that's not the view we want, buddy. That's where I want to go, right there. Woo! Ah, uh, shit. Apparently those signs- You have are... arrived. <laughs> My GPS is like, you have arrived at nothing. So apparently when I seen this sign that said, road closed in 17 kilometers, road closed in 15 kilometers, road closed in 14 kilometers, Apparently they were all right. No going any farther on this road. But we're gonna go find those rocks because that's my goal for right now is to go see those rocks. Oh. <laughs> yeah. This is pretty awesome. Oh man, this is totally cool. I just turned around, so what? <laughs> I wanna do it again. Woo, are you ready? Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> All right, one more time going this way. Oh, it's for the lights leak through, ready? Yeah! This is so fun. Ah! Again, 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 do it again. <laughs> I'm like a little kid right now. So much fun. <laughs> what? Don't laugh at me. I'm having fun. Okay, this is the last time. <laughs> this thing is the coolest thing ever. So cool. All right, I drove through here a lot. <laughs> awesome. 
Look at that thing. Woo! Fox. Right up there on the road. A little fox. Oh, he's so cute. It's okay, little fox. We can be friends. Look who's here. <laughs> I actually ran into them driving up the road. There was a truck flashing his headlights at me. And I'm like, what's going on here? I slowed down a little bit and passed them. And I noticed these guys inside of some guy's truck waving at me. So I stopped, I backed up, they backed up. And turns out they got a ride from the locals. They're going downtown to do something. But uh, so we're here and this is where we're gonna make home tonight. Oh, this is amazing out here. <laughs> Crazy how awesome of a day we have all the time when you're out adventuring in places you've never been. It is so exciting to turn every corner and always so pumped up to experience new things. Yep. Let's turn this camera around and kick in some music. This is beautiful. I'm trying to walk across the bridges that I burned. My only way to you is gone. The tide has turned. So give me a light, show me what I need. I know I'm blind, but I hear symphonies of your heart. See the water moving out there? It's flowing outwards like a river. I'm wondering if this is because the tide is going out and it's moving at a pretty fast pace. This is pretty cool. I'm on this little cliff point. Hopefully, you can hear me. It's super windy out here, but <sighs> what an amazing place to call home for the night tonight. What's up, weirdos? Atlantic Canada, you have got to be the most epic place I've ever stood. I love this place and I never want to leave. I don't ever want to turn around. I could easily make home here until I get bored, which could be another whole year. I'm not saying I'm going to stay here, but oh, would I ever love to not go back to Vancouver. This place is so epically beautiful. Thanks for watching today's video, everybody, and please hit that subscribe button and become a part of our family. I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Woo! No, that's an understatement. To walk alone, I guess it's my prepayment. Please give me a light.